Hey there, this is week 20 new memory work um, for the ABC Darians. So um, we started with timeline um, week 20. Correct week's timeline this week, go us. Um, so our motions were like this. So Australia becomes a commonwealth. We did middle finger to thumb. Australia becomes a commonwealth. Mexican, um, like a mustache, Mexican arms revolution. World War One and President Wilson, like a pair of glasses. Lenin, Al for Lenin, and the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia. It's like out from your waist, like this Russian coat kind of thing. Um, U.S. Evangelist, Billy Graham. Modern period of the arts. The Great Depression and the New Deal. Dealing in the arts. Okay, so that's week 20 timeline. Um, next up, we did history sentence. Um, our history sentence was about the Vietnam War this week. It was very similar in the wording to the Korean War from last week, um, but fortunately the song sounded different, and um, so we've got a little bit different motions, but it's similar. In 1965, President Johnson, okay, a J with a pinky, sent U.S. troops. So we had fun pretending we were soldiers. Sent U.S. troops to stop communist North Vietnam, do a Viet Cai, from capturing, and some people wanted to do capturing in different ways, um, all of South Vietnam, make a low V, during the Vietnam War. And then this one kind of fades out during the Vietnam War in 1965, during the Vietnam War. Um, so uh, that's history. Um, South Central Asia was kind of a fun song this week. Uh, we used uh, CC Happy Mom again, and she used the We Are Siamese song from Lady and the Tramp. So it went, South Central Asia, Laos, Thailand, ba -da -ba -ba. Fit together closely just the way God planned. Cambodia down below all round and fat. North and south, Vietnam curved like a cat. Meow. We all wanted to meow today. So you can meow after your South Central Asia geography. Um, English, speaking of meowing. Um, we were on an appositive, and since appositive sounds like pause in the middle, we did puppy dog pause or kitty pause. Um, so uh, this was our song. We did an appositive is a noun or pronoun directly beside another noun that explains or identifies it. An appositive. We just did fun things with our paws, um, but we did noun or pronoun directly beside and brought it like snuggle up to your face with your paws. So that was fun. Um, Latin was uh, the same as last week, so um, we didn't really do anything uh, clever or different with it. We kind of sang it as we were going from one subject into the next and just sang it a few times. Um, so e is t it, imis istis errant. First conjugation, present perfect tense, boom, done. Uh, math was fun. We um, did a little, you know, motions with a song. So we did um, to the tune of This Old Man. The circumference, big C, right? The circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi, 3.14 times the radius circumference of a circle. Um, so radius was like our arms sticking out um, from the, you're the center out to the edge of the circle. Um, we talked about what the radius was. So um, that's math. And science, what is the second law of thermodynamics? The second, oh, this was fun. The second law of thermodynamics is heat will always flow from an area of high temperature to an area of low temperature. From an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature. Heat will always flow from an area of higher temperature to an area of lower temperature. From an area of higher temperature 
good area of lower temperature. And we had fun, um, went around in a little circle and played follow the leader as we chanted that. Um, so um, fine arts for music, um, wasn't memory work, but we did listen to Beethoven's Fifth. We had it playing while we were building our bridge for science, um, the science project. And we talked about, we listened for each of the instrument families um, and for the theme, dun, 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 dun. So when we would hear that, um, we would get excited. And then we talked also about how does the, this part of the music make you feel? Like what feeling um, do you think that the that Beethoven was trying to convey? And we had a lot of angry and excited in um, the first movement of Beethoven's Fifth. Um, so that was fun. And I had them moving the way the, the music made them feel. Um, for our straw bridge construction, we just played with it and had fun. The materials were a little bit difficult for um, our little class to do. So I think that next week I might adapt a little bit um, and do something a little bit different. But they had a lot of fun trying to build some structures with the straws and the Play-Doh. Um, and we didn't have anything like to take away from that. They built some things that fell apart. So we're going to try again um, next time to come away with some kind of structure. But they did have a lot of fun and we listened to Beethoven while we built it. So. Um, that is everything I think for week 20. We had a great time and hope to see you in two weeks.